Hey there, Sunny here, and today I'm going to show you how to use Canva to create a funnel map like this so that you can visualize and plan out your funnels before you create them. So let's dive in. So to set up a funnel map, we're going to hit create design, and then we're going to um, type in white board. Oops, white board. All right, you can pick this one here, but you can do any one of the templates here. So I'll do flow chart whiteboard. And all that's going to do is it's going to put these templates right here in front of you. Flow chart templates, because that's the type of whiteboard you chose. We're not really going to use any of those. So we are just going to search some elements here. And one of the first things I'll do is search for a website element. All right, and it's not, we can use one of these graphics here that looks like a website if we want to, but I like to use the frame, the website frame, okay? And so you just choose one of these, whichever one, sharp corners or rounded corners, I'll do the rounded corners. And we'll just change some of these colors to more of a neutral grayish sort of tone. So we'll come into add new color. We'll go to a light, like a light gray. And we'll do that. And we'll do the same, that same gray for all of these pinks to replace these pinks. But you know, if you like pink, you can always just keep it pink if you, if you like, if that's your preference. But I've just, I'm just gonna change these colors. All right. And the cool thing about the frame is that if you want, you can actually put a screenshot of your website within the actual frame. Just some extra you can do. So let's go to text. Let's click heading. And we're just going to type in the name of this particular page. So the first thing I'm doing you want to do here is get all your pages of your funnel made inside the map and then we can organize it later okay so that's going to be the landing page i'm just going to highlight and group that so that those will move together and then we're going to copy and paste this and make another iteration of it do another one We're just going to change the name of this one. And we're going to have that second. The first page is going to be landing page. The next one is going to be. So this one is going to be. The thank you. Plus the upset. All right. Do the same with the other pages. So you might, might need to think a bit about what your pages are going to be first. So I know we're going to have a checkout page and we're going to put some order bumps on the checkout page. So check out with order bump. And let's just change the size of these fonts so that it, it's a bit smaller so to match with, match with the size of the pages here. And group that again. Now we have to think about what other pages do we need according to what our funnel is going to be. So duplicate that. And we're going to have a down sell page. Duplicate that. we're going to have a final thank you page plus lead magnet. So this page is going to have either the actual lead magnet itself or a link to the lead magnet. And that's at the very end of the funnel. So some of these pages are 
some of the users are not going to see some of this pages according to the decisions that they make but all these pages still need to be created just in case you know a person does make one decision or the other so now it's time to organize our pages in the funnel flow so that we can look at it visually so i'm just kind of spacing spacing these pages out i'm just kind of trying to figure out where i want to place these pages and that can you know more so come together when you actually start putting the funnel flow arrows in here so we'll get to that in a second now being that they're going to have some it's going to be a fork in the road they can either go one way or another i'm going to position i'm positioning the landing page and the thank you pages in the center and then my decisions whether they say yes or no are going to go are going to split off in two different directions so that's why i have the down tail at the top and then check out with the order bump at the bottom and then i'll put my thank you lead magnet right back here in the middle because no matter what everybody's got to land at that page so now it's time to do our arrows so that we can see the whole flow come into play so i'm just going to hit shapes i'm going to hit this shape the line with the pointer at the end of it yeah, so the cool thing about these line shapes is they snap right onto your objects. So you don't have to fiddle around with the positioning and things like that. So I'm just gonna drag this shape and um, you wanna drag it by its ends. And as you'll see, it's it'll snap into place, right? You take the end here and you drag it back and it just snaps into place. So that indicates that they're gonna go from landing page to thank you. And a solid line indicates that everybody's pretty much going to do that. Now, there's a few ways we can do the decision part of it. We can grab a graphic like this and do a yes, no sort of thing. And I'll kind of show you how to do that. And then there's another way, which is the way I prefer. It's a bit easier, but I'll show you this way first. So I can grab a graphic like this that has yes and no, duplicate it, and just double click it, crop it, so that one shows, the yes shows on one and the no shows on the other. You can drag it to the side of your funnel that's gonna be the side where a person makes the yes decision to take you up on, on the upsell. And then you can put the other one on the side of the funnel that indicates that they said no, they did not take you up on the upsell. Now we can go back to our line feature and this time we're gonna do a dotted arrow line. This indicates that this step may not necessarily be visible to everybody. We can do a situation like this where we have this line going here and then we can put another line going from the no to the actual like down sell page. But we can also, which is the way I prefer, we can also just double click the line and type in the decision, which is gonna be no. And so that's the way I like to do it. I'm just gonna drag that straight over there. And notice that everything links. So once it's connected, everything moves in the sink so that's a cool part so then you could do something like this where you have the we have the no here and if you find that it's not uh, in good position you click the position and move it to the front and also you'll notice that when you're dragging it shifts itself over if you wanted to turn that off what you have to do is go into a uh, file settings and check off snap to dot grid uncheck that and then it'll be it'll basically stay where you put it i'm going to turn that back on because i like everything to snap into place so just to show you an example of how that would be you can use that if you like but the way i like to do it 
is just use that text. So this one's going to be no. And because this one is no, it's going to color that red and hit and bold it. Now for another cool thing we're going to do is we're going to transform this line into a sort of bent line. So I'm going to come up here and hit hit line type elbow. You can do curved or elbow. We're going to do elbow for this one. And that's what it does. It makes the line to a smooth sort of turn here. So I just copied that. I'll bring that down here. I'll do the same thing down here. Connect that there. And then for my text, I'll just do yes. And I'll turn this one into a green. Just like that. And I'm actually going to do the dotted line again because. All right, so this indicates that if they take me up on the down sell, they're going to go to the checkout. So that's the yes. That's why the yes is going down to the checkout. And then, of course, when they check out, everybody who checks out is going to get the thank you page plus the lead magnet. And then on the other side, if they end up on the downsell page because they said no to the upsell, then if they say no to the downsell, they still land on the thank you plus lead magnet page. So either way, they get the thank you and the lead magnet. Whatever they bought in the checkout, we'll have to set up some sort of email automation to deliver that product or give them access to it. But either way, they're getting the same, the thing that they opted in for. It's just that they're also getting other things that they added to the checkout, which will be delivered in another way. Now, another thing we can do is we can take a screenshot of whatever site we want to put inside of our uh, funnel map. Definitely not necessary, but you can do that. You can take a screenshot of this and you can drop it right into the funnel map if you want. All right, there you have it. And if you were wondering about how I was able to get that screenshot like that, that is a feature of the Microsoft Edge web browser, just in case anyone was wondering. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.